Hey everybody, Sean here and I hope you're doing well. For those of us that believe that 2 Thessalonians 2.4 refers to the coming Antichrist actually sinning himself in the Jewish temple and proclaiming himself to be God, the Abraham Accords is something of interest because this also ties into 1 Thessalonians 5 and the coming of our Lord. And this happens when people are saying peace and safety. So the Pope's ecumenical movement uniting false religions with Christianity and this Israel peace deal with Islamic countries is definitely something to watch in regards to prophecy. Now, to those who don't believe this in regards to timing of prophetic events, that's fine because this isn't a salvation issue. Some say we are the temple now, and that's true. But the Antichrist can't force himself to sit inside a believer's body any more than demons can. So, as the headline reads, it would appear that Saudi Arabia is now potentially going to sign this peace agreement called the Abraham Accords. And that's big because this guy, Mohammed bin Zayed, is the one that created this. And he's got his fingers in many pies. Meeting with world leaders like Emmanuel Macron, and Vladimir Putin, and most importantly, he's teamed up with the Pope, Chrislam, and this whole ecumenical movement. So this is very interesting to be aware of in relation to prophecy. How close are we to the seven seals being opened and the revealing of the Antichrist? None of us know for sure, but looking at the past with COVID, we know how quickly the world can change. And with scientists now creating a solution for a new disease called disease X that they say is coming soon, who knows when the next world altering event will occur? My question is how can they be creating a solution for a disease that isn't here yet? Unless it is. Could this be tied to their seven year plan to save humanity by 2030? Only time will tell, but things seem to be happening very quickly. If you haven't seen that video, click here now, and until next time, take care and God bless.